Hey guys, Paral here, and today I'm going to be talking about three classic dungeons that have rare and valuable transmog that you can sell for thousands, or even millions of gold. I don't want to waste any time, so let's get right to this. The first dungeon I'd like to talk about is Skolomance. Skolomance is a great dungeon for beginners to run, since it's just one long hallway, and almost impossible to get lost. Skolomance is full of rare and valuable transmog such as Tattered Leather Hood, Belt of the Ordained, Cold Stone Slippers, Icy Tomb Spalders, Malefic Bracers, and more that I haven't found yet, but I know exist in here. These items are worth hundreds of thousands of gold, and I have found many of them while farming. Skolomance is a dungeon that I like to run when I want to look for rare loot, but I don't want to spend a lot of time farming, since Skolomance is quite short. Besides the rare items that are in Skolomance, you won't be finding many valuable greens from this dungeon, so keep that in mind if you decide to farm Skolomance. The second dungeon I'd like to talk about is Scarlet Monastery. Scarlet Monastery is another great dungeon for beginners to run, since it's a super short dungeon that essentially only has three tiny rooms to clear mobs for loot in. Scarlet Monastery has always been really interesting to me since I got into Transmog, because the more that I run it, the more loot seems to show up that I didn't even know could drop there. Some of the rare and valuable items include Tainted Pierce, Beguiler Robes, Dream Slayer, Sunblaze Coif, Skullflame Shield, and if you're lucky enough, Scarlet Boots. Many more rares can drop here, which makes this one of my favorite dungeons to farm. Scarlet Monastery is a great place to farm if you like the potential of high value rares dropping, and you also don't want to farm for too long, as Scarlet Monastery only takes me about 2 minutes to run. You can find so many valuable pieces of loot from here, but also keep in mind that there aren't that many mobs inside of Scarlet Monastery, so with the drop rate being so low on these items, combined with the lack of mobs, means you could be farming for a while before you find some valuable loot, but I guess that's the case with most, if not all, dungeons. The third dungeon I'd like to talk about is Aldeman. Aldeman is one of the most interesting dungeons in the game when it comes to loot. Aldeman is known to transmog farmers as the dungeon with potential holy grails of valuable transmog, as there are seven items that are extremely rare, these items are known as super rares, and they only come from Aldeman. These items are Papal Fez, Pendulum of Doom, Digmaster 5000, Shadowforge Bushmaster, Spalders of a Lost Age, the Jackhammer, and one of the most sought after pieces of gear in the transmog realm, the Miner's Hat of the Deep. The Miner's Hat of the Deep is wanted by many transmog collectors, and other collectors due to the fact that it is extremely rare. And it's the only cloth miner's hat in the game, so if you wanted to go for an excavator's transmog, this piece of gear would be the hardest piece of the collection to obtain. I have ran Aldeman 1900 times since I started running it back in 2017, and have yet to find any of these super rare items, but they have been found by other runners in that time, so we know that they do drop. They are just extremely unlikely to. If you happen to be one of the lucky Aldeman runners to find one of these treasures, you have the potential to make a fuck ton of gold, or turn heads if you decide to use it for transmog. You can also find other valuable items such as Ginsu Sword, Rich Purple Silk Shirt Pattern, Star Belt Pattern, Lesser Parry Formula, and so much more from Aldeman, which makes it really fun to run when you never know what you're gonna find. Alright guys, that's it for now. I put all of the route guides and other useful information about running these dungeons efficiently in the description below, so if you don't know how to run these dungeons, then I would definitely go check that out. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see me run these dungeons live, you can catch me at twitch.tv slash Thank you for watching, and good luck farming everyone.